Jennifer writes, hello all. I started watching your shows back in March and I got hooked right away. Love all the shows and haven't missed an episode yet. My question to you is, what does retcon and red band mean? When I hear these terms being used, I get stuck trying to figure them out, but so far, no luck. <laughs> thanks for the amazing content and can't wait for more. Uh, thanks for the question, Jennifer. And you know what, sometimes doing this show traveling in the circles that we travel in and hanging around the circles of people that we hang out with, we sometimes for forget that we throw around a lot of jargon and, and some terms and maybe not everybody knows what right. these are talking about. So let's start with the simplest one, Red Band. Red Band refers to a trailer. Now you notice that when you see a trailer in a movie theater or even online, you first get that green screen that says, you know, uh, Motion Picture Association of America, blah, blah, blah. What the green signifies is that Anybody can watch this trailer. That the Motion Picture Association of America has deemed that this trailer is cool for everybody to see. The next thing, like we have right here on the screen right here, is when a trailer is about to play, and instead of the green screen behind the lettering, it's a red screen. These are referred to as red band trailers. Generally speaking, these are for R-rated trailers. Not necessarily trailers to R-rated movies, but if a red band comes up before a trailer plays, you're about to either get some nudity, some sex, some f bombs, some decapitations, some are, you're gonna see, all on the same. All yeah, if we're, we're all lucky in <laughs> once. If if it's a good day, <laughs> all the, so that type of content will be in the trailer you're about to see. So basically, if you go to see the Smurfs movie, they're not going to play a red band trailer before it. You usually only see a red band trailer, and you don't often see red band trailers in theaters at all. But sometimes they do, and usually those will only be playing in front of R-rated movies, so the it's already appropriate for the audience that's there. With retcon. Retcon has become sadly popular. Uh, retconning is basically the practice of this. Introducing something new in an ongoing story, like whether it's a television show or a movie series or whatever, that the introduction of this new fact or piece of information or whatever, I'm not going to say deletes your past understanding, but changes your perception of the story moving forward. So for instance, let's say you're watching uh, a, a movie and stuff like that. Here's a great one, Star Wars. I was just gonna say, yeah. Star Wars, right? Uh, spoiler alert, by the way. Uh, Star Wars, you have this perception going forward until you hit Empire Strikes Back when Darth Vader says, you know, up, up to now, the belief has been, you know, uh, Luke Skywalker, his father was killed by Darth Vader. Blah, blah. That's the history of Star Wars. Well, they changed the history when Darth Vader says, I am your father. It retconned it. The, uh, the old television series, Dallas. There was an entire season where at the season finale, they re revealed... Actually, it was all a dream and just retconned the whole thing. The new Star Trek movies, right? By changing the timeline, all that kind of stuff, they, in essence, in a way, retconned all of the previous Star Trek stuff that we knew and understood. So that's kind of what they mean by retcon. How would you add to that definition? Well, I was going into the Star Wars thing, though, too, for as far as like when all those books came out that, that back in the day yeah. that they put together, and then once they added all the new books were coming out, were going to be actually part of the Star Wars history. All those books you knew before were retconned. They weren't part of They're the story gone. anymore. Yeah. As far as the Red Band go, I would love to see someone go, well, that's Smurf and Bull, Bull Smurf. That'd be, that'd be amazing uh, as far as a Red Band trailer. But yeah, it, for Red Band trailer, sometimes, not always, when there's a comedy, it usually means to watch the Red Band trailer if it's already, because that's really the tone of the movie that you're going to yes, feel. Yes, good point. And I think for me, the one that, that really signifies that is Spy. Because mm. when I saw the Spy trailer, the regular, the Green Band version, I was like, all right, but then when I saw the red band, I'm like, oh, that's the movie. It, right. And you know, you can't, you have to. There's certain audiences you can't show that trailer to. Yes, indeed. But it's also not the audience that's going to see your movie. So, I think Vacation just had a, re a red band trailer. Oh, the movie should have no trailer. Oh <laughs> no! Oh heavens! Well. I enjoyed the Red Band trailer for the Red Band trailer was great. I thought yeah, it was great, it was. and as a horror fan too, uh, horror and comedy, I, I love seeing the Red Band trailers because it's like you said, Christian. You can get a um, well. Didn't Evil Dead, Evil Dead, the last Evil Dead movie, had a crazy Red Band yeah, trailer, yeah. and that got like especially in the horror world, everybody that I knew was just like, "Oh my God, this is happening! It's so awesome." Um, at least I did. But anyway, um, <laughs> so so yeah, I'm. I'm always a fan of seeing the Red Band trailers because like you said, Christian, you know, if you're making a hard R movie in any respect to make a PG rated trailer for it doesn't necessarily always convey the essence of um, of, of what the story you're trying to tell. So I, I always get excited when I see Red Band trailers. Yeah, like the Wolf of Wall Street Red Band trailer was far more reflective of the movie. And I just thought another great example of retconning. X-Men Days of Future Past. Totally. Oh, totally oh my God. Yeah. So much yeah. of the X-Men That's universe. like the definition yeah. Yeah. of yeah. Yeah. retcon. That's all yeah. you should say when someone goes, what's retcon? X-Men Days of Future Past. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, it. That's, that's what we should have led with. 